How's it going? This is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Akuma figure. So you have a nice window to see the figure inside and then the box itself is a nice white and purple colour scheme and then the window continues to the top and then you have a nice artwork of the character on this side and then you just have a name for this side and then the bottom and in the back you have various pictures of the figure and then you also have some legal stuff at the bottom and to open the box just lift open the side flap and lift open the front cover and there's the figure all together with his accessories so first you do get some instructions showing what the figure comes with and how to operate the accessories. So here's the actual figure and this figure actually utilizes the fighting body style of figure arts bodies. So it's very articulated and engineering is kind of different for this figure in terms of the joints and articulation. But in terms of the sculpt, I feel that they really capture the character really well. It's nicely sculpted and there's very little paintwork on this figure but where there is paint it's very nice and clean for the most part. So taking a closer look at the face I feel that they capture the likeness of the character really well. Looks just like him from pretty much all angles and then moving on to the hair which is probably the most eye catching piece. It's very nicely sculpted it's really nice and spiky. And overall it is quite solid, but they don't feel like they're going to break or anything. And overall the paint is a nice matte finish, but you have some darker blacks and reds to really bring out the strands and the detail in the hair. And then you even have the knot as well to tie the hair at the top. It's very nicely sculpted. And then moving down to his beads, it is a solid piece, but it's very well sculpted and looks pretty nice for the most part. And then moving down to his body, there's just a lot of sculpt work and nice detail in his body. So there's nice muscular chest and then the arms are nicely sculpted with all the veins there. And there's even some darker shades to bring out the muscle definition. And then the vines continue all the way to the forearm and it's nicely wrapped by the ropes. And for the most part, it's all nicely sculpted. And same for the other arm. And then you have the clothing on top, very nicely sculpted with all the crease and folds and you have the darker shades to bring out the details. And then you have the rips as well. And then the whole clothing is a softer material so it doesn't really get in the way of articulation at all. And then you move on to his belt, again nicely sculpted off the rope. And again it is a softer material. And then down to his legs, which again you have the nice shading to bring out the details. And then down to his feet, again very nicely sculpted. You can see all the vein work in there. And then all the toes are individually sculpted. And then you have the sandals as well. Again you have nice texturing for the bottom. And overall it's just a really nicely made and sculpted figure. So for articulation, the neck is on a double ball joint, so you can look down about that much, look up that much, tilt his head side to side as well as twist, and then the shoulder, it's on a butterfly joint which is connected by a double ball joint, so you can move his arm about however you want, and you can also bring his arm inwards, and also raise them as well, and it's also connected by a hinge, so you can bring his arm out to the side, and you can move them forward and back. And like I said, with the clothing being soft, it doesn't hinder any of the articulation at all. And then we move on to his elbow joint, which is quite a unique joint. So it's on a double hinge. So you can bend his arm just a little over 90 degree. But because of the muscle definition, it does kind of restrict it a bit. But then there's also this groove here, which allows the arm to swivel. So you can like pose it in a different variety of ways and then this piece also follows along with the joint. So instead of the bicep swivel being up here, it's implemented into the elbow joint instead, 
which is quite a unique idea, but it still looks quite nice overall. And then the wrist joint, it's on a board joint, so you can move this hand about however you want. And then for the torso, it's on a double board joint, so you can lean forward quite a bit, lean back quite a lot as well, lean side to side, as well as twist. And again, because the clothing's all softer material, it pretty much doesn't restrict any articulation. The belt is on a swivel, so you can move it about however you like. And then down to the hips, it's on a ball joint at the waist, so you can move his legs about however you want, and then also twist. And then this figure also uses the newer style of hip joints, so you can kick about that far to the side, which is quite a lot. Kick all the way forward, as well as kick all the way to back. And he does have the thigh swivel. And then he's got the single jointed knees. And then the way it's sculpted, it does look a bit odd, but it does work for the most part. And then down to his ankle, which is on a hinge. So you can go back that much, forward that much, you can tilt side to side, as well as twist. So overall, he has all the articulation and expect the figure arts to have. And like I already mentioned, he uses the newer fighting body style. So he has a lot of range in his articulation, which is very nice for this type of character. But that's the figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. For faces, he comes with a standard angry staring face. He comes with the same angry face, but looking to his side. And then he comes with a angry gritting face. For hands, he comes with a pair of fists, two open palmed hands, and then two fighting styled posing hands. He also comes with this gadoken effect, which is really nicely sculpted. The whole piece is a nice purple translucent plastic, but then you have a white wash towards the end, which blends into the darker purple. And overall, it just looks really nice. And then there is a hole here as well, which is to insert the stand. So he also comes with this display stand, and then at the end, you have to peg. So you just slot it into the fireball effect, and then you can display it like so. And then finally, he comes with these two backdrops, which is a stage from the game itself. And it's quite nice that they include this, so they can display the figure to make it look like he's actually from that arena. So it's quite nice. And then each piece has folds so you can stand them up just like so. So my final thoughts are overall, I feel that this is a really nice figure. It's really nice sculpted, feels really nice and sturdy. And just overall feels like a very solid and well-made figure. And is a really nice accurate representation of the character. But I will say there are some minor gripes, such as the the way that the head is connected. They change out the face, it's halfway through. And because the hair comes along with it, it does kind of create this kind of seam line throughout the figure. It isn't too noticeable, but it's just something that I thought I'd mention. And then a minor gripe, I guess, is what I already showed, is that the knee joint does look a bit odd when it's bent. It doesn't look quite as natural, but it's just a very minor gripe, really. But overall, I'd say this is a really solid and well-made figure, and it's a definite must-have if you're a fan of the character or the video game itself. But that's my review. Thank you for watching, and enjoy some pictures.